Why is it easy to electro win some medals and almost impossible to electro win others? In a few minutes, I'll tell you why. The answer lies within the electrochemical series and its relation to electro winning. Electro winning is the process of removing metal ions from solution by electrolysis. In even simpler terms, it's the process of giving an electron to a positively charged metal ion or cation when in solution. The act of gaining electrons until net zero charge is how the metal cations are electrolytically plated as a solid metal out of solution. Different metals lose or accept electrons at differing rates. In general, the more willing a metal is to accept an electron, the more easily it will be electrolyzed from solution. The electrochemical series is a list of different elements and their standard reduction potentials, which tell you how easily these elements gain electrons. The higher up on the series, or more negative the standard reduction potential, the more difficult the element is to electrowin, and less likely it is to gain electrons. The significance of putting metals in order of their standard reduction potentials is you can visually see which metals are more likely to be electrowin from solution. In the electrochemical series shown here, zinc is the last metal up the series that can be electrolyzed from solution. All of the metals above zinc cannot. Let's say you have a solution with equal concentrations of silver and copper. Because silver is lower on the series, it means it will gain an electron more easily, becoming silver metal and plating out of solution. Once all the silver is depleted, then the copper will start plating if there is nothing else in solution with a more positive reduction potential. When determining the feasibility of electrowinning a specific metal from solution, it's important to consider the other impurities in the solution and their standard reduction potentials relative to the target metal. In solution, metals with more positive standard reduction potentials will electrowin or be plated out before metals with less positive standard reduction potentials. There are two other important things to note on the electrochemical series. As you can see, iron is present in two forms. In solution, iron is either present as iron 2, ferrous, or iron 3, ferric. When electrowinning, iron 3 will easily be reduced to iron 2 at the cathode, while at the same time, iron 2 will be oxidized to iron 3 at the anode. This is a do-nothing reaction, which just consumes electricity, which is why it's very important to minimize the amount of ferric iron in solution. The final point to make is that the closer together metals are on the electrochemical series, the more likely they are to plate together, all else being equal. Hopefully this video helps you understand the role that the electrochemical series plays when predicting the ability of metals to be electro one from solution. If you want to understand more about electrowinning, please check out our other video, Electrowinning 101, with the link found in the description below.